this is CG Richie 6 uh, welcome 6 graphics my name is CG Richie 6 uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh, this is our tutorial we are continuing our um, uh, program so the previous tutorial we made uh, this form to be restricted for editing uh, when you click save so um, today we are going to to restrict that be to restrict uh, that when uh, a form is load up and when you click uh, some maneuver here to these buttons uh, let's see this uh, how we can do this okay so let me go to this uh, button and check for the VBA code uh, I will copy this so you can check it so I want to refer these forms and and these fields we have seen how to refer uh, our fields uh, this item code quantity uh, CMD delete and a discount so I want to copy this one uh, then I will come here to uh, unload okay unload okay I'm going to unload to unload and event then I will click this one then I want to make this one if this okay I want to make this one okay I see here I want to make this one if this is if the status is completed so if on load on load this form if the this that this uh, order is completed then restrict description quantity and discount and CMD remove okay let's go and take it okay yeah this one okay unload when you click this one here now so we are going to take over here mm. okay so now if we take if if me uh, doubt starters if we do to starters the value equals to uh, completed equals to completed then then what I will paste here those uh, code then uh, this item code uh, that will refer this one item code will be disabled and uh, quantity cmd delete and this one okay let us end if here and if okay yes and else let us put else here okay. and else else you can let it do nothing do nothing do nothing so let us debug our code then let us test to see if our code work properly then i'll take this one then you see so on load this uh form uh here yeah, description is disabled quantity and discount and the cmd remove is disabled if this is completed then we want when we click new we want this field to be enabled so when you see here when i'm clicking new this field is still disabled so let us go and take over over here on new button then event procedure then you are going here so we are pasting our our code okay uh, pasting our code here then we will put this equals to for to true okay true 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 okay true this is what we want then we save this one okay then let us test our code now 
okay then when we click new then our feed will be equal to true then we can load uh, customer and select some medicine add quantity and something else okay so now um when you when you click the next when you use this button this button okay let us let us see this one when you use this one this one button this button when you click next 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 you see here it is empty but this field are are still disabled when you click next 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 this field is still disabled so we want when we click next okay when we click next if this one if the f this one is um is uh is com is, this status field is completed so this will be disabled and if not this field will be enabled okay let's just do this one so when we click new this field will be enabled and when we click next and the previous we want to be to make this field to be enabled if it is um if the status field is completed so the 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 code are uh, resembled uh resemble like this one okay this code let us do this one let us do this one okay you see this one yes copy this one uh, today i'm copying <laughs> but you must write it okay but you must write it so then i come to previous re, uh, on quick previous re, okay and i'll put here down here yeah? if um if me with status okay it goes to this status okay status 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 okay i have misspelled it is long 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 time so let us continue as it is um middle status to go to completed then else 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 do nothing okay you can do nothing here do nothing do nothing okay so now let us test our code now oh we forgot to end if here and if okay i just do again so when we click um previous okay let let us do this one next 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 then let us previous 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 next 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 so uh the things the thing here is to enable a uh, search of uh, of a uh, series order number uh, when we we enable this one we can we can soften the work of finding a, 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 um, a, a order in this form so let us put here um, a combo box to fetch um, our order so let us put this combo box here and we want the combo box to get the value from another table not you want to find the record of my form based on the record okay then i select the series order id okay it's enough then i click next then i see this one uh name it search search order search order 
then i click finish okay this is uh my form now okay transformat here um, yes format this one and this one or uh, make it all uh, transparent then uh, we can drag this here okay can drag here so now we can search here for our order okay we can search here our order like when i select 10 then i will get the order of 10 then when i select um this one i get the this order okay then i select this one i get this order so and uh on this on this um combo box let us name this combo box is um order order combo order combo so uh the our order combo we must put a code on uh, update so we want to after update the order combo we will put our code here after update on order combo let's come here after update on order combo mm, not after update before after on change okay on change of course here we this combo box will have something here so on change this one we want to detect the effect of this one if this is completed and here must be disabled okay this is maneuver like so let us copy our, our code here now okay this one okay let me let me find this one this one is better than copy this one then i will come here and on change okay on change day here on change we want this code on change if this completed then you do this okay then we will bug our code then we taste our code so um okay So let us test uh, our code. Okay, let me do this one. Okay, let me do this one. Um, on change, on change middle status to go to this one. Else, let me put this one. Else, copy. Then put this one here. and i'll put this equal to true we paste here we paste here we paste here then else do this one okay okay let us do this let's just check this one this is completed one completed and this one is completed uh, 10 is not completed and it is editable that's what we want this is what we want okay so let us edit our code on load uh, on load we are forgotten to put uh, this one okay let us put this one copy this one and paste on else here okay on else here we want uh, to be uh, true okay uh, 
this one okay yeah so now when we load our data and here on new on next and the previous next and the previous mm, let, let me copy this one here um a lot of course today i'm tired of typing so i'm copying i'm copying i'm copying i'm copying let me go here and on previous we will check this one else paste this one okay debug then on next next oh no 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 uh let me copy this one um from here to here oh no here to here copy this one and we'll paste your next yes here next okay then we will test our code here again okay now here we have to set your orders you can light uh, your order then you click uh, click enter then you will get that order you can load like this one okay then you got this one you see here is not uh no nothing it is null then this one it is editable okay as you see here you can add in something okay uh home that's why that's what we want okay so the remaining part uh, is uh here when we uh, click new and we load customer we put your customer then when we load this one and put here uh, okay on an item then you click tab and this put a quantity then we want um a unit price uh -huh, okay unit price it will be multiplied by this one okay so we want the total amount to be equal to quantity times unit price let us check that if it is true okay kill gone dot 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 okay total amount total amount is equal to quantity times unit plus minus discount okay it is okay but we haven't put a unit place into our inventory that's okay is that true unit place okay let us check for the relief gel let us dispense the relief gel then I'll click new or then I'll load the customer then I type deep relief gel I click tab then I will put five then I click tab then the net amount is this one then I'll put um, 900 uh, to see if it will be will be discounted then you see here it's discounting okay so now we want this uh, total amount to be filled here so you want the sum of this um uh, uh, total amount so here down here this field is unbound so you want the sum of this one so click, click here then we go to uh, that and click this dot 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 and put equals to sum equals to sum sum uh, sum of what sum of total amount total total amount this one then we put here okay brackets okay let us see yeah 
for now it is zero because the sum of zero it is zero so let us could pick new then let us check it so okay let's like so then um click uh deep relief gel is here so tab then we put quantity here then you click this one tab and the call the focus is on discount um then we put a uh, discount here uh, let us put here um, six thousand like this one put this one so we want here to get this one this one okay so you see here it's uh, so now we have completed this form but uh there is still one part uh the the part is to barcode lookup um here uh we have to put code here on this button lookup button mm, but for now for this one it is ready now for this form we will be back again but for now it is ready to be used uh, we remain with this one invoice a4 and invoice short remember that so we want to uh, when a customer uh, went to generate bees of customer so when we click this one we mean to get uh, invoice a4 and invoice short so that's what we want okay uh, but for now it is clear and this one will come again later so the next tutorial we are going to build up another form so stay tuned to make uh, your application better and this is six graphics uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment ciao